Pinion Backup for G Suite offers enterprise-grade backup and recovery for your business-critical data in Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Contacts, and Sites. Spanion offers unlimited storage for your data, so you never have to worry about running out of room or paying for a higher tier of storage. Spanion backs up your users' G Suite data automatically on a daily basis and also offers unlimited on-demand backups. Here's how it works. The Status tab displays the backup status for the past 30 days for the domain as a whole, as well as for each user with a Spanion license assigned. A green dot means that the backup completed successfully without any errors. Gray means that no backup completed for the day, and yellow means that a backup completed, but with errors. Spanning makes it easy for admins to quickly address errors with three error filters, attention needed, temporary errors, and cannot backup. Attention needed errors refer to errors in a user's account that will require intervention from either the end user or the admin to resolve. Most commonly, these errors will be authorization errors, meaning the correct authorization hasn't been granted for spanning to be able to access the user's data to back up, or corrupt data files, meaning that the user has some corrupt data in their Google environment, and the data needs to be replaced with good versions for spanning to successfully complete a backup. Temporary errors refer to backup errors that occurred when there was a temporary connection issue between spanning servers and Google. These errors will resolve themselves on their own and don't require any action from the admin. Cannot backup errors occur when there is content in Google that cannot be backed up, since Google does not make them available through their APIs. Spanning reports these errors because we believe in 100% transparency, and we never want customers to attempt a restore only then to find out that their data was never backed up. As an admin, you can access any user's account via Spanning by typing the user's name and impersonating the user. The User tab shows the backup status and account details. On this page, you can also run on-demand backups and export account data backed up by Spanning for deboarding scenarios. The exports from Spanning are in industry standard formats. For details, see support.spanning.com. The Settings tab allows you to change backup settings for individual users by app. The Restore tab shows you the backed up data for the user by app, starting with Gmail. The Spanning Gmail UI looks very similar to Google's Gmail UI, making it easy to find the content that you would like to restore or export. Spanning backs up all of the email in your Gmail by default, including the mail in drafts and trash. Spanning also backs up the email's labels and attachments. A common use case for Gmail is restoration of email messages from a departing employee to their manager's account. It's easy to do this in Spanning by selecting all emails from the All Mail label and then hitting Restore. Admin users can choose the target user and can also type in the label name where the emails should be restored. If you would like to restore original labels for the messages, you can leave the Add Original Labels option checked. Another use case for Gmail Restore is restoring specific emails that were deleted by the user accidentally. You can search for emails by label, by date range, or by keyword, and select specific emails to restore back into the same user's account. If enabled, super admins can preview emails. That way, security and compliance protocols are easy to follow, while still helping restore email. Spanning also backs up all drive data for users with a Spanning license assigned. For each backup, Spanning displays the file and folder structure exactly the way it was at the time of backup. Since Spanning also backs up metadata along with drive data, Spanning allows you to view the details of the files and folders including sharing settings, owner, modified date, and also the user that modified it. Spanning Super Admins can navigate to any point in time backup and view the entire file and folder structure as it was at the time of backup. Spanning has helped customers recover from malware and ransomware scenarios in just a couple of clicks. If your end users are using DriveSync, the malware can encrypt not only the files that they own, but also the shared files that are owned by other users. For example, if one of your users was affected with malware that encrypted all the drive files that they own and that are shared with them on a specific date, the admin or end user can log into Spanning, navigate to the date prior to the time that the files were infected with malware, select All Content, and hit Restore. Spanning also provides an option to restore the sharing settings so that you do not have to manually put back the sharing settings for the files after they are restored. In this scenario, the admin or end user will choose to restore sharing settings and hit Done to start restoring the data. 
Spanning will restore all of the selected data back into the user's drive account with a folder hierarchy in its pre-malware state, including sharing settings so that everyone who needs to access the files can get back to business quickly. Another common use case for drive restoration is accidental deletion, where an end user deleted data unknowingly, and that data is permanently deleted by Google. In this scenario, the admin can impersonate the user, navigate to Drive on the Restore tab, and then either navigate to the date when they still had that file in Drive, or search by the file or folder name. Clicking on the icon to the right of the file name shows the version history for that particular file or folder. Spanner displays the point in time backups when the file or folder were changed in the Modified tab. Each backup that Spanning saw the file or folder in Drive is shown in the All tab. Admins can choose to pick any version and restore or export the file if needed. Super admins also have the option of restoring the selected Drive data to a different user's account if they would like to. Similar to Gmail and Drive, admins can also restore and export backed up data for calendar, contacts, and sites. Spanning also offers a 100% restore guarantee for the backed up data, and if we fail to restore the data, we will give the customer 10 times the money back for one year of the individual account. Spanning's admin console displays account information, settings, and the backup status for users in your domain. From the accounts tab, you can see an overview of the number of active and deleted users in your domain that are protected, the number of unprotected users, and the number of unused Spanning licenses. Spanning provides admins with the granular controls needed to assign Spanning licenses to end users. Admins can choose to assign licenses at the domain level, OU level, or for specific users in the domain. Spanning also offers auto-assign and auto-purchase options so that your end users can automatically be protected when added to the domain. Spanning can also protect your suspended or deleted end users' data in Google. This protection is available as long as the user was active when the Spanning license was assigned, so that a full backup of the user's data was completed. Admins can access the backed up data for these archived users and export or restore the data to a different user's account if needed. The Settings tab allows admins to control the domain-wide settings, as well as the access settings for end users. The admins can control whether end users can log into Spanning Backup, and if so, whether they can change their backup settings or export their backed up data. By default, Spanning only backs up the Google Drive data that each user owns. If an admin wants Spanning to back up the data that is shared with each user as well, they can enable this setting here. Spanning also supports email retention and mail preview, if desired. In Settings, you can choose to get a status notification email detailing the recent backup history and current license assignment status. You can choose to receive that notification on a daily, weekly, or monthly frequency. Additionally, Spanning offers a public API which allows customers to automate their license assignment and exports. Finally, Spanning offers several different admin roles and permissions that can be assigned to specific users if desired. More details about admin roles are available in the Spanning knowledge base at support.spanning.com. The audit log on the admin dashboard has details about all operations performed by admins or end users in Spanning. The audit log is immutable and contains granular details about the operations including the username, date and time, operation type, etc. for all operations since Spanning was installed in the domain. With our focus on 100% transparency, this means we also log operations like mail preview, cross-user restores, and changes to mail retention. You can also download the audit log at any time to filter operations based on your preferences. Protecting customers' G Suite data with enterprise class security is one reason customers trust us. Spanning is SOC 2, Type 2 compliant, and protects data at rest with 256-bit AES object level encryption. All data in transit is also protected with encryption. The best way to see how easy it is to protect your G Suite data with Spanning is to try it. Install Spanning Backup for G Suite from the G Suite Marketplace and try it free for 14 days.